Columbus, Georgia is about 200,000 uh, citizens, uh, and we we were still are um, disproportionately um, out of sorts as it relates to gun violence. And being that we are in funeral business, we were seeing that firsthand. Mm -hmm. So we were serving family after family after family after family of young black men between the ages of, every time I say a number, it gets lower. I will say 12 to 40. Mm -hmm. And what we started doing was looking at that, again, statistically, uh, where our norm was. And we didn't necessarily want to be that type of a business. Uh, even though we are in funeral business, we wanted to see what we could do to alleviate some of that. Coming towards the pan pandemic, um, I was shooting music videos in Columbus. And um, there was an incident that happened where there was a shooting at one of my video shoots. And I ended up getting shot. So after that situation happened, um, I personally had to change the way I like, looked at things and like how I was promoting a certain, you know, a certain culture. Mm -hmm. The culture that we're living in has to see people that who are not normally seen together, mm -hmm. not only being seen together, but working together on common goals that betters our community holistically. Yeah. So we started meeting with anybody and everybody that was meeting about something positive. And uh, one night, a police officer friend saw this um, documentary on Georgia Public Broadcasting that was called Cure Violence, mm -hmm. which was a um, a violence interruption pro uh, program that was started out of the University of Chicago School of Public Health by an epidemiologist that was using gun violence in the same um, um, conceptuality as epidemics. Mm -hmm. And the similarities were basically the same. So when we looked at COVID, and we looked at gun violence. There were similarities that were the same. So COVID would infect, infect an area, clustering. So we see violence in di different parts of the community, clusters, and it spreads. Being involved with care violence for myself, like, opened my eyes that people some people do care, you know, because coming from like just from the other side of things, sometimes you go about life not thinking like anyone cares. We're like, no, they don't care. They, they're over there. We're over here. You know, that sort of mentality. But um, just being brought into care violence, like just being in them, being introduced to uh, the Rotary Club members and members, it just brought a different outlook and like perspective on things. We met people like Cosmo that you'll get a chance to meet, and some of the others. And, but it's a it's a intervention program that that uh, employs uh, what the what the community would call, or the nation, or people as a whole mm -hmm. would classify those that have been thrown away. So people who have had uh, different things in their past, disparities in their past that potentially caused them to fall out of what would be considered to be normal. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to the changing of the narrative again now. Yeah. So we're looking for people who have been thrown away by society, that have uh, redeemed themselves and their lifestyle qualities, mm -hmm. but looking for opportunities to be restored. 